Hi there, we're going to look at how to add Pear Deck uh, add-on to our Google Slides so that we can use that um, as we are trying to connect with our students. So this is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Google Slides. Pear Deck's an add-on for Google Slides. It also does work in PowerPoint. You're going to click on add-ons and you're going to click get add-ons. Now, if you've already some point downloaded Pear Deck or um, added Pear Deck, it might say get or that it, that it's open. It'll say open Pear Deck instead. So right here it is, Pear Deck for Google. And then you will click on install and continue. And then you would go ahead and you would click on your Prairie Rose account. Um, And then there's going to be a little, a little allow button down here. And you will know if you've already installed it in the past, because I know a lot of you've uh, done a free trial before. Um, it'll just say um, open now. Pear Deck's installed. Okay, and it'll give you a little uh, how to. So now uh, here it says uninstall, so I would know that I already have it installed. So when I go to my um, presentation now, if I wanted to run Pear Deck or add, now I go back to my add-ons and I'm going to click Pear, De Pear Deck add-on. And it's going to say, should now say run. See, I don't think we want that. No. Let's try again. Let's try over here. We're going to go add ons, Pear Deck. And now this is what it should say open Pear Deck add on. And so in Pear Deck, what happens is you get this whole other little side piece where you can add all sorts of different um, slides. So if I want to add a text slide um, where students would type something, I would type in, click on the text button. It tells me it's working, little pair dances. And then at the bottom of your slides, you will get a gray bar and the instructions say students write out your response. And then if you look into the speaker notes at the bottom, it says uh, this is a Pear Deck slide. So um, if I add another one down here, let's say I want to make this um, a draggable, which is a feature in the premium Google Slides. It's going to work again a little bit. And I can choose uh, any number of things to drag. I can add some other things. Um, so that'll add. And it'll add that gray bar at the bottom telling me that this is a Google Pear Deck slide now. Students can drag those around. I can add another slide. Now let's say I just wanted to have text or information on here. I don't have to add a Pear Deck slide. It could just be information slide. And so then I might um, add another Pear Deck one down here. So you can have a mixture of Pear Deck slides and just information slides. A Pear Deck slide is where a student would um, do an activity. They can text, they can draw, they can go to a website, uh, they can drag something to a point. There's a, a ton of different things you can do. There's also a great bunch of libraries in Pear Deck. Um, there's a digital citizenship library. We won't actually go into that right now. Um, there is a whole bunch of templates. So there's kind of beginning of lessons. Um, what do you know? What do you think you know? KWL, a whole bunch of ready-made templates. Uh, there's during lesson slides, end of lesson slides, critical thinking slides, and just new, fairly new, there are also slides that you can add for different um, subjects. These are pre-made ones, graphs, all sorts of things. Um, Pear Deck is especially good for math if you students are on an iPad where they can draw. Um, so there's all sorts of pre-made slides, but of course, any of your lesson slides you can actually make into a Pear Deck slide. And that is how you add it.